Mr. Lee. Sure. Uh, I have questions on Myanmar and Burundi, but I want to ask inevitably about this, uh, the, the revelations about Mr. Ash and Frank Lorenzo and others. And I, just as you, as the lead spokesman, as a person that travels around with the Secretary General, how would, what would you say to the photos that exist of the Secretary General with David N.G., since indicted, uh, with Frank Lorenzo, and particularly in instances where it appears that, that groups that, that receive contributions from the, from the two and then put them in a room to have photographs with the Secretary General. Is this something that, how does the Secretary General view this in retrospect? And what's the, going to the, be done in the future? The, first of all, a photo of a Secretary General with any individual it should in no way be interpreted as a, a sponsorship or agreement. It's just a photo. The Secretary General is very much a public figure, mm -hmm. attends uh, a lot of public events where there are a lot of people. Sometimes people come up to him and ask to have their their photo taken, um, and it's it's done with, within the, the within obviously the security constraints uh, that need to to be had. I think whether it's the Secretary General of the United Nations uh, or anyone in a leadership position, you will find when you travel with them that a lot of people won't have their photo taken with them. And as much as that is, we try to control that. Sometimes it's it's difficult uh, it's difficult to do so. I think the Secretary General is as shocked as anyone uh, in this building at the charges that were leveled uh, at these two uh, at these two individuals he's and is very disappointed um, at the at the accusations towards uh, the United Nations I guess I just because I mean it seemed obviously to, to business interests having a an actual kind of formal handshaking one I, I'm, I guess I'll just say that that is worth something to them that's why they I, I, I've, I'm not I'm not debating that them. point I'm okay. just saying that Having a picture of sure. the Secretary okay. General with any individual is but in no way should be seen as okay. a sponsorship, approval, sure. uh, making I, them BFFs or anything. I want to be, I guess I just want to be more specific. If in an event, and there's one that actually, I, as, as it turns out, I witnessed in Cipriani, if the Secretary General enters a large space and is then taken to a smaller space for such photographs. What's the basis for that, as opposed to people with selfies? I mean, well, I, I, mean, I, I think, you know, you, if, you, if you were there, then, uh, then you, maybe you condone the event as well. Uh, the issue is the Secretary General attends a lot, of, a lot of events, uh, attends a lot of events. Sometimes there is a VIP uh, reception. None of it should be construed as anything as the Secretary General uh, having his picture taken with anyone. And, and I'll, I'll, one more I'll, specific I'll, thing on this. Do you, I, not on the pho not photographs, okay, but related. And I just okay. it's, this is sort of and I, it's been a number of days now. So yes. I'm assuming that if not you, OLA, someone has now read through this long FBI affidavit. And I want to just ask you again because in it there, it says that after the the the, 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 the official UN, UN document about the Macau Center was was procured, there was a separate payment to Mr. Ash, separate communications with a UN official number one who reissued the document as a amended, revised for technical reasons with the name of the company in it. And it seems to me even before you waiting for an OIOS investigation, the scope of which wouldn't touch that, who in the UN is actually, how does it work, first of all? Who, which part of the UN amends documents after they're released? Is it, is it uh, DGACM? Well, first, uh, listen, I, I'm, I'm not going to talk about the specifics uh, of the case. But it is clear that if uh, the president of one of the legislative bodies in this organization, which controls the agenda, or a sponsoring, uh, a sponsoring country for a resolution, asks the secretariat to amend a text, we serve as the secretariat. It's not, uh, it's, it doesn't in entail sponsoring of what's inside that text. Mr. Lee. Sure. I, am, I, I definitely want to get to this Burundi question, but I, in having heard, I just want to directly uh, uh, ask you about the idea that it's sort of people struggling to get photos with, with the UN officials. There was, a, there was a Peacekeeping Day concert that was uh, for which solicitation of, you know, sponsorship was sought by a group called World Harmony Alliance. And it had nothing, to, the group has nothing to do with peacekeeping, but they paid for the day. They, they, they in fact, the, the, the funder complained that he didn't get the promised photograph with Ban Ki-moon, but I wonder what was the, what's the UN's understanding when they take outside financial sponsorship for such a day? And, I mean, former UN official Gambari was seen with the same group taking photographs on the fourth floor in the Millennium Hotel. What, what's it all about? What's uh, happening? Well, what former officials do in hotels is really sure. none of my what purview. About Mr. What about uh, UN peacekeeping? I, I will take a look into that actual program, but obviously we would expect uh, every uh, part of the UN to do due diligence when it partners with an outside organization. And just... Sure. I'll leave it at that. Okay. On Burundi, can I ask you? Uh, no, because I really don't have anything new on Burundi. Uh, Masood. I have a question. 
<laughs> yes, sir. Rather Still than eat. follow up on that, at least for today, I, I do want to ask, and the, the Burundi question is one maybe that you can check with DPKO. There are Burundian uh, uh, human rights activists say that a officer, Jerome Nitibogora, N-T-I-B-O-G-O-R-A, which who was uh, accused of being involved in killing people in a, in a, in a um, hospital after they fled mm -hmm. from the government, has now been deployed to MINUSMA in Mali. So I wanted to... Uh, let's, they, let's see what we okay. can find out. And, and on Myanmar, I figure you might have a statement yeah, on, this, I don't, on the uh, delay of elections. I'm waiting for some guidance on the issue of the elections. And, and do you have any response to, to Radhika Kumar Swami, a, a former UN official, um, uh, yesterday had, in her, her independent report proposed a special tribunal for sexual abuse and exploitation by peacekeepers and UN civil staff. And she's, so I'm wondering, what does the UN say to that proposal by a respected UN former official? You know, uh, obviously, I think, as the Secretary General said in his statement, he welcomes uh, the general work uh, done in the report, which is a very important uh, important report itself. You know, on the issue of a special tribunal, uh, obviously, that would also be an initiative for member states. Uh, we we'll look forward to considering all the options and uh, and recommendations that are in the independent panel uh, in more detail in the 400-page uh, report. I think in general, obviously, the sec Secretary General's uh, position on demanding accountability uh, for those found to have committed sexual uh, abuse is well known and unambiguous, as he has said himself directly in this room with the Security Council stakeout. On the issue of SEA, the Secretary General laid out to the General Assembly uh, a number of measures, including increased vetting, uh, complaint reception mechanism, among other issues. He's also asked for a trust fund uh, for victims. So he will continue to work with member states on that issue. I will get Mr.